Ég heiti Svanhildur Manna Vigfúsdóttir og ég er eigandi Crossfit XY sem er staðsett í Garðabæ á Íslandi. Ég hef stundað Crossfit frá árinu 2011. Some of us started following uh, the Misfit program over three years ago. We were kind of, you know, take, looking at different programs. Sometimes we did in Mittu, sometimes we did Misfit. We were following the Outlaw program. Uh, and what we noticed was that uh, Misfit had a higher intensity uh, program workouts in their program than maybe we experienced in the other programs. Around two years ago now, we decided to have the group come together and follow Misfit uh, on a strictly day-to-day -day basis uh, all the way leading up to the Open. So that was the Open 2015 and we immediately saw, uh, and, and uh, for myself I saw a big, a huge change in how I did in the Open. What it has also done, when you train so much together you start to know one another really well. I think that was one of our, one of our biggest strengths going through the Meridian Regional last year is we knew each other so well because we were always doing the same workouts together uh, and if we didn't manage to get you know the whole group together we were doing the same workouts so we knew the, uh, the, the times, we knew the, the weights or we knew you know what we were doing and going through that competition strategically we were set up the best. I'm not sure we had maybe that, you know, everyone on that team was the best individual athlete, but we could just really structure the way that we attacked the workouts with our strengths and weaknesses. It was a big year, yeah. Uh, it was a, we have, uh, I believe it's a three year goal for, for us. We started now uh, almost four years ago, CrossFit XY was uh, founded and we immediately said we're going to get a team into regionals. At that time, that was easier, but it's become quite difficult and the Meridian regional region is very tough. Um, so we've been fighting and last year we were like one or two places away, uh, or the previous year, and then last year we finally got a team in. Um, but. It, we did better than that <laughs> when we finally got in we surprised ourselves and got fourth place which gave us a ticket to the crossfit games and obviously that was a lot of fun uh, last year you came and that was kind of our first time uh, meeting you guys we had been following the program we were you know seeing great success but we wanted to kind of have a bit more so we had you come over and we had it as an you know open misfit camp as you do everywhere else um, and and that was great, but this time we have to this 2017 season coming up. We had good success last year. Now we've set new goals for the 2017 season. Bigger goals, more demanding. We're seeing some of the athletes that were on the team last year. They're focusing on going individual this year. We have new athletes coming in that are going to try to get a team into the regionals this year. Um, some of them are very young. We have Halle that might go into team, uh, that went to the team uh, CrossFit Games division last year. Um, so it's very exciting, but it's going to be very demanding on uh, achieving these goals. So having had the success that we had last year and, and seeing how the athletes have grown by following the Misfit program, I thought it was great to reach out to them and have them help us on, the, uh, on our path to achieving those goals for the 2017 season. It's, it's interesting to think about why we have such good athletes and we are regularly asked that question. It's a new sport and Iceland tends to do quite well at new sports. But then when things grow and, and become more developed, you have resources, you know, you have more resources for coaches and education for coaches and uh, facilities to train at. So then we tend to get a bit behind. Um, I've been quite happy to see that that hasn't happened. And I guess just with the, um, the technology and the, the times that we live in, it's become easier to train here but have a coach 
somewhere else. Uh, it's also a sport where you just have to work quite hard on your own and not, you know, be somewhere else. It, ha it, it hasn't been a goal of mine to uh, have you know, have one of the best athletes come out of CrossFit XY to make it to the games. I'm quite happy for that to be, you know, I, I just love when it's an Icelander. Um, but what my goal is that we have, a, have an affiliate that has the structure that you can grow and become a great athlete if that's that athlete's goal to become um, and that we support uh, those athletes to do and, and try to give them access to resources and for example Misfit uh, and the support they need to get to that place. And I believe that we do that if we just try to have, a, have that type of environment where everyone is welcomed and you're welcomed into the company competition classes or where the uh, RX athletes are training um, and just a positive environment. We have very different athletes. We have uh, large, strong athletes. We have small, uh, lighter athletes, strong on the body weight, strong on the uh, weightlifting. But what I believe it has done is that it's brought us um, both, you know, it's brought us together. We work out more now together. Uh, and it's pushing us on all levels. So I think it's we've come uh, together as uh, an athlete. You, you, we're more all around athletes now. Uh, and I think the program is really good at finding your weaknesses because that's you know they program everything and they challenge you every day. And you might have a day where you see oh this is brilliant I'm good at this, but then next day you see oh I'm gonna have a barbell workout there with Apne who is always going to beat me on that one but that's okay but that I think it's brought us together as a group and we challenge each other with our weaknesses and, and strengths. We would like to see uh, three individual athletes from CrossFit XY at the Meridian Regionals and we would like to get a team into the Meridian Regionals.